Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Here on Real Agriculture Now, we have Sherry Stridehorse, research scientist with Alberta Agriculture and Forestry. And Sherry, you've been doing quite a bit of work in the area of plant growth regulators in uh, in wheat. We, of course, are always pushing for higher wheat yields. Are PGRs part of uh, part of that equation? Absolutely, um, particularly in the environments where we are pushing yields, where we have the high moisture um, and we're pushing fertility and lodging is a problem. Um, lodging can reduce yields between 7 to 35 percent. So anything we can do to prevent that, um, that's going to help us increase wheat yields for sure. So what has your research shown? Um, I, I wish it was a nice black and white story, straightforward, but it certainly isn't. What we're seeing um, on wheat is that different cultivars respond differently. Um, some cultivars, it works textbook, beautiful. We get the height reductions, we get the improvements of statability, and then we get the yield increases. However, there's some cultivars where sometimes they get taller under certain growing conditions. Um, sometimes it fixes lodging to some degree, but not enough to straight cut it. Um, so there is no real straightforward answer here, and I, I think I think that's one of the struggles with plant growth regulators. If it was nice and simple and easy to use, that would make everyone's life easy, yeah. but it's not. Did you say that sometimes they get taller? So sometimes, that's the opposite of intended? Uh, yes, exactly. Okay. So um, the idea there, I don't know how technical I should get, but um, the plant, what the plant growth regulators do is it makes gibberellin inactive and gibberellin makes plants taller. Because plant growth regulators break down in the plant quite quickly, um, what happens is you get a flush of active gibberellin in the plant and um, with all of that plant goes, oh, I'm going to make myself taller. And, and we're facing a lot of struggles just because um, plant hormones are complex systems and when we need do something at one point, it can have tr ripple effects downstream. Mm -hmm. What about uh, variety differences? Do we see different responses? Absolutely. Um, so we've seen, for example, CDC go sometimes get taller. Um, Harvest is one that um, is a wheat cultivar that is really nice and consistently getting shorter, improved its standability. Um, we have some other cultivars like Coleman and Thor's, maybe not big acre cultivars, but they're tall, they get the height reduction, but it doesn't improve standability to the point where you can go in and straight cut it. Uh, so, so it's all over the map there. And um, I, ideally, it'd be nice to have that little guidebook saying yes use it on cultivar XYZ and not on ABC but we're, we're not there yet. Okay right now there are two main formulations or, or ways of, of, uh, of inhibiting plant growth? Or yes in so theory? kind of the two that are out there and commercially available there's ethyl from Bayer and um, manipulator from Engage Agro. Um, with the ethyl um, it's in working on the ethylene hormones in the plant and um, it staging on that's incredibly picky um, growers have to sign a waiver and saying that if there's a mess up and yield reductions because staging is wrong, it is all the producer's fault and there's no compensation. And um, mm -hmm. that product, if you use it wrong, you can have you know 24 hours to get it on at the right time. So I understand why Bayer doesn't want to promote that kind of a product. Um, but when it works, it, it can do beautiful things. So, so it, there's give and take. With Manipulator, it does have a nice big crop safety window, which is wonderful, and it's affecting the plant's gibberellin biosynthesis. So um, in terms of it having a nice crop, big window for crop safety, but uh, a fairly small window for it working and working really well. And that's the other tricky thing. And then um, neither product is to be used under stress conditions, so drought stress, moisture stress, heat stress on and on so you know where these actually work and targeting that on the farm is is really quite complicated. Have you done any work with uh, unregistered? I believe there's one more in the pipeline right now that uh, there's yeah, been some research for. Absolutely. There's um, plant growth regulators that um, our data is contributing to the registration package, and we certainly have seen um, some nice yield increases with it. Um, but again, some cultivar specificity, and um, also so working well on some, not as well on others. But as long as we don't get the yield decreases, I think that's the one thing that we want to really target. And um, it doesn't cause the height reductions, but if it keeps it standing, then that's another story that would we be willing to accept something that increases yield and keeps it standing? I, I sure would as a farmer. Mm -hmm. So what's your recommendation to growers then going into 2016? Do you do you buy plant, uh, apply a PGR? Uh, I, 
if you're planning to do it, do your homework, um, particularly on the grain marketing because we cannot sell manipulator treated wheat into the U.S. and it's not looking likely that that will be approved for 2016. Um, make sure you're in a growing area that it does have lodging because there's so many ifs and buts. Make sure it's in an area where you need it and make sure you get staging right. Make sure you get um, do your homework that it's a cultivar that does respond fairly nicely to it and um, really just do your homework and, and don't go in there blindly and get your staging right as well. Okay, so make sure you have the marketing side of things figured out. Marketing, yeah. staging, and environment and the cultivar. Okay, and if, if you know that it's going to lodge or you, if you had, if you knew that, yeah. would you apply a PGR? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so given that I know the growing condition, we've got lots of good moisture, those conditions are all there. If it's a hot, dry environment like we had in 2015 in parts of Alberta, I certainly wouldn't use it because the chance for lodging is not there. So, so use it when you have that good chance of lodging and um, you've got that yield potential you want to secure and firm up. All right. Thanks for your time, Sherry. Thanks.